renaming numbers in everyday math. In order to rename numbers, you're going to give an equivalent math equation for a whole number. An equivalent math equation means an equal math equation for whole numbers, which means numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. When we're doing that, we're going to use the operations where we're adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. So let's look at the first problems. We have 20, and we're going to have equations where we add, subtract, multiply, or divide in order to equal 20. So I need to think of two numbers when I add them together that will equal 20. And I know that if I add 12 plus 8, that's going to equal 20. Now I'm going to use subtraction as my operator and find an equation that's going to equal 20 when I subtract. And I'm going to use 23 and I'm going to subtract 3 from that to equal 20. Now I'm going to multiply. Multiply means finding groups of that are going to equal 20. And I know that two groups of 10 would equal 20. I'm going to divide now, which is the inverse or opposite of multiplying, and I know that I could have 40, and I'm going to divide that by 2 to equal 20. I could check that by actually doing 2 times 20, and that would be 20 plus 20, because that's two groups of 20, and I know that would equal 40. Now I'm going to try the numbers with 45. I need to add first in order to get 45. Remember I'm looking for equivalent or equal math equations that equal 45. I know that if I add 20 plus 25, that would equal 45. Now I'm going to subtract and find an equivalent math equation. And I'm going to start with 52. I need to figure out 52 minus what equals 45. And I know that 52 minus 7 would equal 45. Now I'm going to multiply, which means finding groups of what to equal 45. Well, I know that if I have 5 groups of 9, that's going to equal 45. Now I'm going to need to divide and I need to think about what's going to equal 45 when I divide. And you can use the same strategy that we used over here where we had 2 and if we did 20 plus 20 that equaled 40. So I'm going to use 2 again. And this time I'm going to need to add 45 plus 45 in order to figure out what I'm going to divide by. And I know that that's going to equal 90. So I know that 90 divided by 2 is going to equal 45. Remember, when you're renaming numbers, you're finding the equivalent math equation for a whole number. So you need to use the operators to add, subtract, multiply, or divide to figure out what the whole number could be.